Okay, this is a good place to show. This is kind of the before and the after. So we started with 20 chords like this. And then we went through a bunch of steps in the middle and came up with this composition in play. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 55 Leash. And in today's episode, we shared an anecdote walking and what it means to be on a leash and not even knowing that we are on a leash. And what gave us this idea was watching somebody's dog pulling on them, pulling on them to go say hi to somebody. And the dog owner was pulling back, pulling back, trying not to get yanked out of position. And which one was on the leash and which one wasn't on the leash and, and they didn't know that they were on the leash. The dog didn't know she was on a leash. And then in hindsight, the dog owner didn't know that she was on a leash. We're all on leashes all the time. The question is, are we aware of the leashes that we're on? And if we're, if we are, then that gives us a little more freedom to work with. Our leash is that we're using a 12 tone scale. And then we brought up a tone generator and showed what would it be like to go between the first note in the piano and the second note, C and D flat. And there was a note in the middle, like C, C half sharp or D half flat, D flat half. And there are scales that use that. But no matter how granular the scales get, you can always vary the frequency by one megahertz and say, I'm using a different note. On the other hand, we can't hear that. There's a minimum level of like 10 mm, hertz or, or so. And it depends on how high or how low the pitch is that we can distinguish between two notes. So even our physiological system has a set of constraints. So leash just means constraints. And, and um, we sort of had a philosophical moment. Um, we also had some reflections on our theme for the entire series, which was triptych, which is things that come in threes. And lately we've been having fa uh, slow, fast, slow sections. You're gonna, we have a slow section in progress right now. Um, we already played things where we varied minor, major, minor, or minor, major, major, or we had uncommon, common, uncommon scale. So we're using threes in a lot of different ways, which is one of the themes of our series, which is triptych. An exotic, we've been expanding to use the 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5 chords, which are very exotic. And then in today's episode, we're even using uh, chords, shadow full chords. And then uh, we also talked about what does full media expression mean. So what happened today was we started with the source 20 chords that do not exist in 3443R, nor 2552, nor even D flat 1331. And we said, we want to compose. We say, we're going to compose with a set of chords that have no minor and major leashes on them. And then we figured, well, how do we do that? How do we do that? And so we decided to, you know, pull them all together and we decided to group them. And so we looked for things that had C in them, D in them, E flat in them, and so forth. And then we we cheated. We went back and said, well, even though Shadow Fool has no minor major, we know what the notes mean in the other scales that are the subcomponents. So we put them in this order. We put the D, E flat, E, F, because those are all modes, then the G neutral, then the A flat, B, because those are urges, D flat, A, B flat are minor. So we got a nice series that looked like this. And then we played around with starting on the C and starting on the E flat and starting the F. And these sound pretty cool, especially if you hear what we did to them. are we doing? Well, we decided to go add that, um, that G flat. Remember, there's a G flat note in there that is what we call the bright scale. 
So anyway, we thought that sounded cool. And D. And E thought. And then after a while, our ears got tired, and we said, okay, next, you know, plan B, what are we going to do now? And, and, and while we're at it, we can get rid of this, because we, we never did add this third line. This is not just a recap, it's live composition. We are very much in pattern and raw composition today. So then we took these and we identified certain patterns. And basically, we were looking for threes. Aha, uh -huh, our triptych again, yes, yes, triptych. And so this is what we came up with. Um, chords that had the D minor in them, they're nine, and so we parsed them into three, 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 and like that. And what we ended up with, and we'll play it for you in a little bit, is we ended up with 12 unique cadences. These are the 12. And for each one, we added a backbone. That's this line here. And it turned out to sound very pleasing. So let's play that for you. We also, in order to avoid hearing any more piano banging, our head changed it to the, the piano, soft piano chord and the choir synthesizer as the melody. Here we go. And so amazingly enough, it has an energy story feel to it, to us, that doesn't, I mean, we don't have any minor, I mean, we could say, oh, I have minor, major, and all that nonsense here, but look what's really happening. It's here, you're hearing an urge note. <laughs> But those are in the chords that have none. And then magically, and D flat is a none note uh, that still sounds like a, a calm place to end. So we like this, we like this, and that's why we want to work further with it. So that concludes today's stream. Um, we made a leashes in Shadowful composition score. Uh, we want to work further with it, and we're thinking about adding a fast part. Remember, slow, fast, slow. And uh, one of the ideas for adding a fast part is to revisit our what we called our scale figures, which was this fast stuff that we have somewhere. We have fast stuff. We have all this fast stuff that that we could pop in there, like like this one. And that's all in the shadow full scale. So thank you for your time and attention, curiosity and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do come back. And as always, take care and keep on streaming. <laughs>